Thank you, everybody. We're just about to start. So I would like to invite uh, Councillor Barb Gilchrist to uh, open the proceedings. Thank you, Barb. Tēnā koutou katoa. It's so lovely to see you all here tonight. What an exciting night. Whakataka te hou ki te uru, whakataka te hou ki te tonga, ki a mā kene kene ki uta, ki a mā tara tara ki tai. E hiaki ana te atakura, he tio, he huka, he hauhu, tihe Māori ora. Cease the winds from the west, cease the winds from the south. Let the breeze blow over the land, let the breeze blow over the ocean. Let the red-tipped dawn come with a sharpened ear, a touch of frost, a promise of a glorious day. So, Phil said I'm not allowed to really talk, but I just have to say how exciting this is. <laughs> and to me, this is like two years ago, we, it was a bit of a battle to get climate change front and centre in the long-term plan. And I'm so excited we did. And this is kind of the first tangible thing that you can see out of that investment. So hugely exciting day uh, for all of us, actually. Um, ko te kai o te rangatira he korero, ko te kai o te atua he whakarongo. And that whakatoki says, to speak is chiefly, but to listen is divine. And tonight that's what we're here to do. We're going to listen to some really great speakers and we're going to listen and learn. So thank you. Have a great night. Thank you, Barb. I'd like to invite our Mayor, Nigel Bowen, to, uh, to welcome you. Thank you, Nigel. Kia ora. Thanks, uh, Phil, and thanks, uh, Barb, and uh, thanks for your passion and work around the council table in this space. So, I um, really like to acknowledge that. Um, look, kia ora tato, no mai, hare mai. Uh, it really is a pleasure to welcome you all here tonight. I just want to acknowledge uh, I've got uh, fellow uh, uh, Mayor Gary up from uh, the Waitaki District, our neighbours down south, and I know I've got a, a lot of elected members from um, both Timaru, uh, Waimati and Waitaki, and so really appreciate you all being with us, and uh, a warm welcome to all those uh, uh, members of the public that are showing an interest in this space as well. Uh, I just want to acknowledge that there's likely to be some differing uh, opinions in this room, um, but I just want to make this one point. No matter where you sit in this space, the climate is changing. We are having more frequent, frequent weather events. Timaru has had three civil defence emergencies and has had rain, effect, uh, rain events that have affected both our roading network and the Timaru uh, uh, urban water supply in the last three years. We are experiencing coastal inundation along our coastline that is affecting farmland and will affect our hut communities. We aren't sitting on our hands in council. Council has led in some spaces, and if you look back um, to the early years when we uh, started recycling with the three bin system, and now we've moved to the three bin, bin system, which is about you know, diverting waste uh, from landfill. Uh, in the water space, we've done a significant lot of work around resiliency in the last few years. Uh, we've brought forward that microfiltration plant for Claremont, uh, which is really important for both urban water supply but also business, and invested heavily in resiliency for the for both uh, our businesses and our townships. And so an example of that is that um, other pipeline going out to Wash Dyke. So now we've got a second pipeline uh, fueling Wash Dyke. That's really important. Uh, and reservoirs in the townships, which is also really important. But this journey is not ours alone. And as a community, we need to keep an open mind and embrace this conversation and, to st and start to think about what is the climate opportunity. What is the opportunity for our district if we apply best practice? Who are the people and what are the businesses we can attract to the district and the wider region if we do this really well? How can our communities uh, fl flourish under a climate opportunity? So I just want you to um, look at it in a, a, more positive, a more positive approach. So this meeting is a key step in our ongoing climate change journey. Uh, Council has endorsed three climate change governance statements. I think, are they going up? 
Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. So firstly, uh, the Timaru District Council will be a climate-friendly council. Fantastic. Thank you. We will adapt to climate change and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from council's operations wherever feasible. Secondly, we shall lead and facilitate uh, both mitigation and adaptation projects with others. We will enable, empower and inspire substantial climate change actions by many stakeholders in the district, including collaborations with our treaty partners. Thirdly, encourage others to learn and adapt. We will guide and encourage communities that are most vulnerable to climate change. Uh, those who are most exposed to climate change, and I mentioned um, some of those before, are badly impacted by climate change and the least resilient. Oh, that's me. <laughs> this evening we're focusing uh, on the second statement, helping to enable all of us in our communities and workplaces to take action. We'll start by sharing what we already know about climate change. There is a strong international scientific consensus backing this knowledge. Uh, future workshops are starting in a month's time will draw on your ideas and develop local strategies that we can all act on to address climate change. Your input is essential and uh, I now ask Phil Driver, our consultant to the council, uh, who will explain the next steps. Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, just get through the admin safety stuff first. Um, please note the exits where you came from is the main one. Um, in the event of a earthquake, heaven forbid, drop and hold. Um, I'm sure you've all been at school and told how to do that. <laughs> drop and hold and then clear out of the bay. Um, if there's a very, very long earthquake, there's a risk of a tsunami and you probably don't want to stay there for a long time. Sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, so drop and hold. Uh, tonight's going to be fast paced. We've put a lot in the agenda quite deliberately. Um, we will answer questions that have been sent to us um, by those of you who registered. We won't take questions from the floor tonight, but your opportunity to talk to us um, is coming up and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, snacks and water at the back. Help yourself any time that I'm talking, but please don't get up and walk around when our speakers are talking. I, I can handle the insult, but it's not, <laughs> it's not fair to do that to others. Um, some speakers are zooming in um, from Wellington and Christchurch. That's the climate-friendly way of doing things. Um, so I'm Phil Driver uh, as an outside facilitator, and my colleague Rhys Taylor just down the front here has just been appointed as climate change advisor to Timaru District Council. So we're working alongside each other. Reese has been great support in, in the work I'm doing and he's looking after a lot of the work that goes on inside the council. So a little bit of background. Um, last year, the International Panel on Climate Change produced a series of reports under the heading AP6. And the first report included this statement. It's unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, oceans and land, widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere, ocean, cryosphere and biosphere have occurred. And the word unequivocal to a scientist means greater than 99.9% .9 certainty. It's pretty compelling. Um, I shared that statement with the council earlier on this year and they then asked me would I lead a climate change strategy for the district. And a key point here most of the actions that are going to be taken on climate change are going to be taken by us, not just by the council. So the council wants a strategy that we can all buy into. It's our strategy supported by the council. Um, so tonight is the first stage in that process. So tonight we're informing. So what we're trying to do is share what we know about climate change. So we're going to start with climate change science and politics. We're going to hear about the specific impacts in our area. Uh, we're going to hear about this issue of climate anxiety. A lot of people are getting frozen up by the fear of climate change, and we need to address that. 
we're going to hear some really good stories from local people. We've got about seven or eight speakers, local people, telling us what they're already doing. I could easily have got 30 or 40 speakers about things that are happening in our district already. Then the next steps after tonight, we're going to have some drop-in sessions. So tomorrow at our Timaru Library, uh, 9.30 till midday, um, followed this one in Tamuka and also one in um, Geraldine, and the details are on our websites, also on the handout that you've found on your, your, your seats. In October, we're going to be having some workshops where we listen to you, and this is crucial. Our speakers tonight are talking about global or international science and to some extent how it affects New Zealand, but you know how it's going to affect us here. We have to have your input. So we really hope you can come along to our October workshops. In November, we're going to have a series of particular topic workshops, as I'll show in a minute. Uh, and then after that, we pull a strategy together. Um, we're also going to have some questions during the um, evening. Questions for you, there's five of them. And if you get the right answer, you get a very substantial hamper of frozen foods from McCain's, which um, I'm really generous of them to make these hampers, and um, we'll explain how, how that happens later on. Right, our first speaker is Professor James Renwick. And with these speakers, I could have had a CV or, or list of bullet points that went on for several pages for these speakers. Uh, James is um, Professor of Physical Geography at Victoria University in Wellington. Oop, can we go back to the my slide? Um, Specialising in large scale climate um, interactions. New Zealand Prime Minister's Award for um, Communications, co-author of one of these International Panel of Climate Change reports. So, James, over to you. Um, climate change and our atmosphere. Thank you.